I saw my first superhero when I was three years old. He was young, like a teenager. He had a mask and a red and blue suit. He could shoot webs from his wrists and was swinging between buildings. He could climb walls and was helping people. It's ev it was everybody's favorite friendly neighborhood superhero. He's of course Spider-Man. I remember seeing an, him and thinking to myself, wow, I thought he was amazing. It made me feel so happy. It made me feel like I could be like him. I mean, could you imagine that? I could climb buildings, shoot web, combat crime, and help people, which made me think. Do superheroes exist in the real world? Is that even possible? Are there people who help others in need every day and make the world a better place? If so, who are they? Where are they? And most important, how often do they appear? What a superhero to me is someone who helps people and is caring to others. They make sure everyone is safe. They make sure everyone's having a great day. Other like Spider-Man. What's a superhero to you? Kind, caring, helpful to others? And most interesting part, what would you feel like if you were a superhero? Powerful, awesome, incredible, kind to others? Something to, something to think about. S is for superhero, like you. So, where did the notion of superheroes all start? After doing a little bit of digging, I found out some very interesting things. I mean, did you know that the term superhero was used as early as 1917 to describe interesting and inspiring public figures? And, and early comic book heroes were usually referred to by their creators as costumed characters. Comic book heroes started to make an appearance in the late 1930s. One of the first superheroes was the Phantom, who debuted in his own newspaper comic strip on the 17th of February, 1936. It recounted the adventures of Kit Walker, who donned a mask and a purple outfit to become the Phantom, AKA the ghost who walks. This started the trend that inspired generations of superheroes to be created. One of the most widely known and most recognizable in his blue and red costume with a big S on his chest is of course Superman, who appeared in 1938 in DC Comics. It wasn't long till we saw female superheroes introduced like Wonder Woman, Phantom Lady, and Black Cat. Timely comics eventually became Marvel Comics, and they appeared in 1939. Its first superheroes were the Human Torch and the Submariner, eventually leading to the modern era of superheroes, including Iron Man, Hulk, Thor, and Spider-Man in the early 1960s. Comics books were a big distraction during the Great Depression. The larger-than-life characters lifted society and the magazine format, usually 64 pages of original content at a mere cost of a dime, was a bargain during these times of hardship. Superheroes were bringing a smile to people when they needed it most. When I think about the word hero, I think about people who help me in my life. The first people are my family. My mom helps me and cares for me and buys me cool stuff. She plans exciting activities like weekends away at water parks and staying at some pretty cool places. My dad takes me to school, takes me to football and skiing and inspires me to, to make me get involved in new things. Like doing this TED Talk. I have lots of family in England including my cousins, aunties, grandparents, and who, ate, who all made me feel special when I visit. And maybe also my little sister Zara. <laughs> she sometimes gets me in trouble and can be a little bossy, but she's very caring and also makes sure I'm always okay. As big brother, I also need to take care of her and protect her and make sure she's always okay. 
and I have lots of people in my life, including my friends, Raquel, who helped me a lot at home, and my teachers, who inspire me to build up my skills. But I have another job. It's to be the best person I can be. Sometimes I get scared when things happen. I mean, come on, I'm only seven. But I'll always know I'm okay because we're because I have heroes around me and they will protect me too. Who do you think, who do you have in your life that are heroes? So many of the heroes mentioned before were based on the very best traits of people. So we thought we put our thoughts together to come up with five things that could make you consider becoming your own everyday superhero. So the first thing is start by doing a good deed. Make someone smile, make someone a drink, and make someone lift someone around you. The positive energy you put in will also lift you and help you have a positive day. Be caring to people, that's number two. Listen to others when they're in need and show them that you care for them. There are many people who feel alone in this world, particularly in this current situation when we have social restrictions. You will no doubt make them feel much better, much more positive. The third thing is offer to help others, whether it be something small like carrying bags for a family member or giving somebody a lift like a friend. This can certainly start off a chain reaction which promotes people doing this for one another and paying it forward. The fourth thing is be positive with your actions, be it at home, school, or at work. We all emit energy, and this affects the people around us. Your positivity can make other people feel positive as well, even if you are not interacting with them. The way you speak, your gestures, your facial expressions can all create some positivity around you. And the fifth thing is be happy in your own skin. Find something you are comfortable in. You don't have to be wearing a costume or a cape. The way you feel about yourself plays a big part in what you do day to day and what you can achieve in one day. Multiplied by months and years can make a big difference to yourself and the others around you. We all have heroes inside us that we can be every day. It lives inside of you. It's a part of you that comes out when you're protecting someone or helping other people. In this world where there are 7 billion people that can be 7 billion everyday superheroes, bit by bit, making the world a better place for everyone. Can we go out of our way to help others every day, to make sure we are safe and taken care of. Seven billion heroes on planet Earth. Now that's the idea we're fighting for. Find your inner hero. There's a hero in all of us. So, are you ready to be someone's everyday superhero boy danger? I certainly am, Captain Dad. Let's, Let's do, do this. this.